Hey folks, I just wanted to give you all a quick update on what's been happening in my life and in my health. Because uh, last Sunday morning, Pastor Chris said something that stuck out to me and, and, and pushed me uh, a little bit. He talked about the Apostle Paul. And with a very successful ministry leading a number of churches, they were growing and healthy and thriving. All of a sudden, he's sitting in jail. Why, when things are going so well, does it seem like God sits him on the sidelines for multiple years? In a way, I can relate to that. It's a bad situation and it wasn't going away. But in the middle of it, Paul finds God right there. And with an incredible joy and excitement, he writes about his awareness of God's presence and seeing God at work. And actually, God does things in Paul and through Paul that might not have been accomplished if he had not been in that bad situation. Now that got me thinking. It's really easy for me to get stuck feeling sorry for myself. When I spend too much time thinking that way, I can easily get depressed about what this has done to my life and what this has done to my family. And when I get stuck in that, it sucks the life right out of me. You know what I'm saying? Folks, I don't want to live like that. I want to live with joy, and if I have limited days left, I want them to be great, right? Well, Chris's sermon last week was a good poke in the chest for me, a reminder that God has got this, that God is right there, that God is at work, that God is good, that I am still here, and even if it is a bad situation, actually God has been doing some really good things in my attitude and in my heart and changes that probably needed to happen, so thanks, Chris, for that. So it's been three years now that I've been sick and almost two years since my diagnosis and surgery. And as you probably know, it is stage four cancer. It's made a mess of my pancreas and my liver and my bile duct. That's the tube that connects those organs to the rest of the digestive system. But this cancer isn't going away without a miracle by God's hand. It's not a tumor that can be shrunk. It's actually diseased tissue that the cancer is eating away. And chemo can't kill that or replace the diseased tissue. So I'm not just asking God for healing, I'm asking him to completely restore what has been lost. According to my oncologist, every day I'm alive now is a miracle. I only see him every couple of months now, and every time he tells me exactly the same thing. Your blood work and your scans look good. I'll see you in a couple of months. That's both calming and scary at the same time. There are days that I feel really sick and I don't get out of bed. I constantly have trouble with my feet and the strength in my legs and ringing in my ears and my digestive system is a disaster. But despite that, most days I actually feel okay. I often think about whether or not uh, I'm capable of coming back to work. Besides the cancer itself, there are two things keeping me from that. First, my energy level is terrible. Uh, Drugs help with that, but they only last a couple of hours, and since I can only take two a day, I try to time them really well so I can get the most out of my day, but when they wear off, they really wear off. I don't really have the energy or the strength or the stamina physically to even think about working. But the other thing is the one I have the hardest time with, and it's what has happened to my mind. Uh, After several months on chemo, and ever since, I'm experiencing confusion, my mind is foggy, I have a hard time remembering things, a hard time focusing and and maintaining my train of thought. I actually even lose my train of thought in mid-sentence. And I often can't get the right words to come out. Well, that got bad while I was on chemo, but they said that was normal, but it hasn't gone away. And that's incredibly frustrating. Of course, it all looks good when I'm doing this because I'm actually just reading it on a little screen beside the camera. As I've said all along, my spirit is good. My trust and hope in God is secure, maybe even more than before. I've been learning to rest in God's hands, and I have no control myself apart from knowing and waiting. It's been said before, I trust the next chapter because I know the author. And I know that sounds trite, but it really is true. So like the Apostle Paul, I acknowledge the bad situation I'm in. But I know that God is completely in control. 
I know that uh, God has a very good plan and I'm surrounded by people who love me. And again, thank you, church, for your generosity and your kindness. God is good. He shows his kindness to us every day. I will trust when things are good. I will trust him the same when things are bad. So like the Apostle Paul, although I'm stuck in a long-term bad situation, God is right there. And where God is, there is peace. God is good. Thank <laughs> you.